Hi everyone, my name is Amy Hayes and I'm the Higher Education Champion here at Northgate. I work on the NICO project, which is the Network of East Anglian Collaborative Outreach Project, supporting Year 9 students all the way through to Year 13, informing them about their post-16 and post-18 options, including higher education. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about A-levels and BTECs and the difference between the two. So A-level is short for advanced level. A-levels allow you to study your favourite GCSE subjects in greater detail. And you can even take new subjects, including things like economics and politics. They're really good preparation for all universities and courses. So a good way to keep all of your future options open. Most students will study three A-levels but you can take four if you're really enthusiastic and motivated. Facilitating A-levels or facilitating subjects are named this because choosing them at A-level leaves open a wide range of options for university study. These A-levels give us excellent skills for other subjects. If you don't know what you want to study at university, then it's a good rule of thumb to take at least two facilitating subjects, and this will keep a wide range of degree courses open to you. So the facilitating subjects are biology, history, chemistry, maths and further maths, English literature, foreign languages, geography and physics. If you are considering applying for one of the 24 Russell Group universities, it is good to pick at least two of the facilitating subjects on that list. Good reasons for choosing your A-levels may be that you really like the subject already and that you've studied at GCSE and enjoyed it. You may need the subject for your future career. If you haven't studied the subject before, you may think that your skills and interests will suit it well. You may need the subject to get onto the university course that you want to study. And if you think that you're going to get at least a grade five in the subject at GCSE, um, then it is worth studying at A-level as well if you enjoy it. So what are BTECs? BTEC is short for Business and Technology Education Council. BTECs are work-related qualifications which combine practical learning with subject and theory content. BTECs are usually studied full-time and you can also take it on its own or alongside GCSEs or A-levels. BTECs are quite specialised so this may reduce your options if you're applying for university. Here are some examples of BTECs. As I said they are practical and they are also vocational courses. So things like agriculture, animal management, construction, engineering, art and design, to name just a few. Good reasons for choosing BTECs may be again that you really like the subject already. You may need this subject for your future career. It can give you hands-on practical experience and vocational experience is attractive to employers and can be used on applications for jobs and higher education. And if you are a practical learner, then it may mean that this style of learning may benefit you more. So there are four options available to you after you are 18. The first is higher education, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about university. The second is apprenticeships, so they're post 18, so higher or degree apprenticeships. Employment and gap year. So what is higher education and why go? So as I've said, there are many different routes that you can take to get into higher education. So you can pick A-levels, but equally you can pick BTECs as well. There are over 300 higher education institutes in the UK for you to pick from and over 45,000 courses for you to choose from as well. So it's really important that you identify where you'd like to go, go and visit when the time comes, and make sure that the course is right for you. So look at the module breakdown year by year so that you know what exactly the content will cover. So why go? So some jobs do require you to have a degree, to be degree level educated. So if you want to be a lawyer or a vet or a teacher or a doctor, then you will need a degree. So university is the first opportunity where you will have that you will have, sorry, to um, pick one course or one subject that you're really passionate about that you would like to study for at least three years. And it's also an opportunity to pick something and identify a course that best suits your learning style. So, for example, 
paramedic science is placement based so you learn on the job uh, whereas something like English would be more written essays coursework um, and so forth so it's all about identifying a subject that is going to be best for you because you'll be studying it for at least three years Social life is a big part of people or some people's experience at university. It's an opportunity to join clubs and societies that you're interested in or join clubs and societies that you've never heard of. And you get to meet lots of new people and make lots of new friends on your course and people that you live with as well. So I'm now going to show you a video which will cover what you need to consider when choosing your A-levels. Here are the six things to think about when choosing your A-levels. Some degree subjects ask for specific A-levels. This is because they cover the basic knowledge and skills you'll need later on. For example, if you want to study medicine, most of the time you'll have to have an A-level in chemistry and biology. Certain A-levels can keep your options for the future open. These are known as facilitating subjects and include maths, English and the sciences. If you don't have a clue what you may want to study at uni, it might be worth having one or two of these A-levels. Subjects are a lot tougher at A-level than at GCSE. This probably isn't much of a shocker. If you're only okay as a subject at GCSE, will you be able to keep up at A-level? Some unis prefer certain A-levels. Just as we all like our coffee a certain way, some universities have preferences about which A-levels you should take. They feel that some prepare you for certain degrees better than others. This isn't very common, but it might be worth checking with a uni. Get your facts straight. If you have a query about a university's entry requirements, always check with them. Look on their website or call the department. Choose A-level subjects which you'll enjoy. Business, law, politics, psychology. These are just a few of the many different uni subjects which you don't ask for any particular A-levels. So don't get too bogged down thinking about the future. Try our tool and see where your A-levels can take you. It might throw up a few surprises. Good luck. Okay, so for more useful resources and post on post-16 and post-18 options, please do visit the Take Your Place website where all our resources are. Um, I will leave the resource uh, link up there so you can take a note of it. Um, and if anyone um, has any other questions, then please, please feel free to email uh, Mrs. Calder and she can forward it on to me and I will answer that as soon as I can. Thank you for listening.